Hi, I'm Graham Steele, and in this video, I'm going to show you how we can modernize the cryptography in a legacy web application to use the AWS Secrets Manager to look after the keys, and all that without rewriting code. So here we have a legacy web application. So this one is running in the Tomcat web application framework. Just can click around it a little, see some pages there. And even this very simple application is using some cryptography in particular to protect the data in transit using the TLS protocol. So we want to modernize this app as we adopt, uh, in this case, AWS Cloud. So the first thing we're going to do is get some details on exactly what cryptography is being used in there. So I'm doing that by changing the config of the Tomcat server. I'm adding some environment variables, so I'm not recompiling the code. This is going to put the CryptoSense agent in place when we restart Tomcat. So th now the application server is running with the CryptoSense agent in there, and every call to a crypto library that's made is going to be traced and sent to the CryptoSense analyzer platform. So let's go ahead and restart. Now we can uh, just click around again, just make sure we're using uh, a bit of that TLS protocol to protect some, some data at rest. There we go. And now we're going to switch over to the CryptoSense analyzer front page to have a look at that cryptography. So here we are, we can get a little inventory of the cryptography that's being used there. We can see some different operations going on and we can see also that there are some uh, security issues. So we can see here that there is a weak key store password. So it's just password, that's the default in Tomcat. And the key store type is a legacy key store type, which is uh, very easy to crack. And if we look at all the keys here now on the key lifecycle tab, so there's quite a lot of keys in this application, like most of them. Let's just get rid of the unused ones uh, and then just look at the ones loaded from a key store. So it's just one. Now we just want to check that this really is the TLS private key that we want to migrate to the secrets manager. So let's just have a look at a signature operation and uh, we can look at the stack trace here. And here in the stack trace, we can see that, yeah, this is the handshake uh, that goes on with the uh, Diffie-Hellman parameters at the beginning of a TLS exchange. So this is definitely the TLS private key that we're looking for. And we can confirm that it's uh, being loaded from, from a JKS key store. And look, here's the password there. It's, a, it's the normal um, Tomcat default password. So we definitely want to modernize this and make this secure as we, as we move this to AWS Cloud. So we can migrate to other cloud managers, but this one we're going to do with AWS. So let's just give our secret a uh, sensible name so that we can access it again. And I'm using my stored AWS credentials, which my CryptoSense Analyzer already has. Uh, and it's going to do that migration for me now when I press that migrate button. So that private key object has now been sent to the AWS Secrets Manager. So I can go ahead and look at it here and be sure it's the right thing. So putting it in the Secrets Manager, it's more secure. Uh, it also means that I can manage it separately from the application. So I could actually roll over that private key and, and store new certificates and do this all independently from having to change things in the application, which would be uh, definitely an advantage from convenience, but also from a security point of view. So now I want to make my Tomcat use that credential, but without rewriting the code. So the way I do that is I change the options again. And this time I'm putting in place a different agent that the CryptoSense Analyzer platform has just made for me with those last migration operations that I did. So it's maybe an agent that is going to reroute those calls from using the JKS insecure key store on the file system to actually fetching that private key from the AWS Secrets Manager. So again, I can restart the Tomcat. I'm just going to click around it again. So we're just gonna uh, trigger uh, use of that uh, secret. So we're gonna make Tomcat reload the, the private key uh, for the session. And now I'm just going to go to the AWS log and check that I really was accessing the private key through, through the secrets manager. So let's just refresh. And here we've got a, a instance of a call and we can see this is the application fetching the value of the secret to, to do that TLS session and it's getting it out of the AWS Secrets Manager. So this works for other key storage systems, so GCP Secrets Manager and Azure Key Vault as well. Uh, and it works for any application, not just Tomcat app, so it could be a WebLogic app or WebSphere app, any Java app that is using cryptography. CryptoSense Analyzer can help make that migration and modernization so that your version in the cloud is really secure. Get in touch using the details below if you'd like to have a personal demo and find out more and thanks for watching.